Hi, my name's Heidi Conley. I'm a cardiologist at Mayo Clinic, and today we're going to talk about pregnancy in patients with congenital heart disease. In the United States, congenital heart disease is the most common form of structural heart disease affecting women of childbearing age. Most women with congenital heart disease will consider becoming pregnant. And the presence of congenital heart disease does increase the risk to both mother and baby. There are important normal pregnancy-related cardiovascular changes which occur, which are usually well tolerated, but in the setting of heart disease uh, can be, uh, become a problem. There's an increase in the blood volume and heart rate that occurs during pregnancy. There's also an increase in the cardiac demands of pregnancy. And as mentioned, usually these are well tolerated, uh, but previously undetected congenital heart disease might come to light during pregnancy or patients without prior symptoms might get into trouble around the time of pregnancy due to these changes. Ideally, before pregnancy, a comprehensive evaluation of the patient and their congenital heart defect should be performed by an adult congenital heart disease specialist. A thorough review of medications is very important. We want to assess the risk of pregnancy and do that with a maternal fetal medicine specialist and then come up with a management plan for the pregnancy the delivery and postpartum care. And finally, genetics plays an important role in the pre-pregnancy assessment in some of our patients with congenital heart disease. An important question which arises for patients with congenital heart disease is when should pregnancy be avoided? The list here is fairly short, but very important. Severe pulmonary hypertension, reduced heart functions with symptoms of heart failure requiring medical therapy, severe obstructive heart lesions such as valve narrowing or aortic narrowing, a very severely dilated aorta, and then the presence of cyanosis or a blue tinge to the skin increases the risk to the baby primarily and also as a relative contraindication to pregnancy. The care of patients with congenital heart disease uh, can be very complicated and does really require a comprehensive care team approach. So during pregnancy, a comprehensive care team is involved in the care of the patient with congenital heart disease. This team is based on a close working relationship between the adult congenital heart disease specialist, maternal and fetal medicine specialist. It often involves repeat cardiac imaging during pregnancy and adjustment of medical therapy. Close observation for heart rhythm problems or other problems during pregnancy is also very important and genetic assessment and counseling may be required during pregnancy. Occasionally cardiac intervention may be needed during pregnancy and having a multidisciplinary care team approach to the patient is incredibly important. <laughs>